Hello and welcome back to the course on Tableau. And in today's tutorial, we will be creating a map and we will learn how to work with hierarchies. Today, we will be working with a map of Europe and we will spend much more time on it so that we can understand exactly how to work with geographical data in Tableau. So let's get straight to it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to save our workbook because we didn't do that last time. So we'll click Save As, Section 4. There we go. And now we're going to start by creating our first hierarchy. And why do we need a hierarchy? Well, that is because we have certain elements of geographical information in our data that we need to uh, tell Tableau how they work together. And let's have a look at that. So here on the left in the dimensions, you can see right away that some fields have been picked up as geographical data and the globe represents that. Some fields have been picked up as text and some fields have been picked up as date. And so here we have three elements of geographical data that Tableau recognizes. It's the city, the country, and the state. Now, region is also an element of geographical data. It's north, south, uh, central, or uh, west or east uh, Europe. But in this case, Tableau doesn't have that geographical uh, or that level of geographical information or that layer. So in this case, Tableau doesn't recognize it. And that's okay for us because it's sufficient for us to work with these three. Now, at the same time, these are all um, elements of geographical information, but we also know that a city can only be in one country, a country can only be in one state. So therefore, there is a hierarchy, a natural hierarchy there, and we have to uh, show Tableau how it works. And Tableau is already um, prompting us to create a hierarchy here, and we can go ahead with that, but for now, we'll just delete this hierarchy that Tableau has prompted for us, and we'll create our own. So we'll just click Remove Hierarchy, and now we will start by creating our own. The easiest way to do it is to take any of the elements, let's say city, and drag it onto its parent element, so in this case country. And so now we will, is, uh, Tableau is prompting us to create a hierarchy called country city, but we'll just call it geography because we know that we will add more into this hierarchy just now. So if we do that, right away you can see that country and city have been moved into this hierarchy separately away from uh, the rest of the dimensions. So now if we take state and we also move it in here, we can put them in between, put it in between, we can put it anywhere, but we know that state goes between country and city. So that's where we will put it. And now we have created a natural hierarchy um, for us to work with going forward. And so now what we can do is we can take country and we can drag it into um, our workspace. And once we've done that, right away you can see a map of Europe has appeared. So I'll just make this smaller so that we can zoom in a little bit. So a map of Europe has appeared and the dots represent the countries that are in our data set. So there's uh, United Kingdom, Germany, Norway, and so on. Now, you can also see this little plus sign, and the plus sign appears because there is a hierarchy that Tableau knows about, the one that we just created, and it knows that it can drill into the data further, and that's why it's allowing us to do that. So if we click the plus sign, Right away, you can see that instead of a dot for every country, now we have a dot for every state. So let's zoom into France, for instance. And you can see here that in every single state of France, there is a dot. And that's because we are looking at the level of granularity of state. Um, and that's because we have state, as, as you recall, um, whatever dimensions are listed on our or worksheet, that's the level of granularity that Tableau is going to be looking at. So once again, we can click this plus sign on the state, and that will drill in further into city. So now we have a, every dot represents a city. So we have a dot for every single city um, that our uh, that is present in our data set. So um, there's Genevieve, there's uh, Les Soli. Um, my pronunciation might not be the best, but um, as you can see, there's lots more dots here right now. And in fact, you can keep track of the number of marks on your uh, chart or map, as we discussed in the bottom left corner here. Right now, there's 1,001 marks. So that's quite a lot of um, data points. And we can already start working with this. In fact, we're going to go back one step and we will leave the map at the level of granularity of a state. So we'll just collapse that. And now let's go ahead and start working with this. So what we're going to do first things first is 
it is always important to know how many if you have more than one year in your data and um you know because you got to be careful not to aggregate information from different years if you don't need that so first thing we're going to do is we're going to take order date and drag it into filters and we already know how to work with filters right so um we're going to add it into filters here and we will just choose not range of dates but we'll choose years so next and let's say we want to look at 2012 to start with okay and just as we did before what we're going to do is we're going to create a quick filter show quick filter um, there it is our quick filter so I'll just make the uh, workbook a little bit smaller so we can fit our quick filter in and in this case we obviously don't need all so what we're going to do is customize show all value we don't need it and we will change this to a single value slider so now you can slide along and you can see how the data changes so that was the first thing that we wanted to do and now working with a single year what we're going to do is we're going to create some colors and some sizes on our chart so first thing that we're going to do is we're going to say that we want to look at how many sales were done in every single of these uh, every single one of these regions so we're going to take sales and we'll drag it onto size and right away we can see that um, the bubbles have changed size because and now they represent cells and they look a bit small so let's uh, increase the size a little bit let's take it to this level for instance and then we'll go to colors and give it a border let's say a black border to make it kind of stand out a little bit that's good now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to create a calculated field what we want to do and what was uh, told um, in the challenge what we were told in the challenge is to uh, look at the profit margin for every single state so let's go ahead and do that we need to create a field that will take the sum of profit and divide it by the sum of uh, sales and that will give us the profit margin so we're going to right click on profit here we will go to um, create calculated field and here we'll call it profit margin we need sum of profit so it's important to take the sum of all the profits for all the orders in that specific region first and then divide it by the sum of total sales for that region. Rather than divide, taking profit, dividing by sales, and then taking the sum. So it's important here to first sum up all the profits, sum up all the sales, and then divide one by the other. Click Apply. Okay, so we have profit margin now. And now if we take profit margin and drag it onto color, what you will see is that the field here is called AGG profit margin, which means aggregate of profit margin. Basically, it's telling us that this is already an aggregated field because profit margin uh, is a calculated field which takes uh, which first uh, takes the sum of profit and divides by the sum of sales. So Tableau is telling us that this is not just a um, a single value field; it's an actually an aggregated field, and it's just kind of warning us about that. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the colors and we're going to take, um, let's say, instead of red, green, let's go red, blue. We'll apply that. And now we will say that uh, we want a specific levels of profit margin. So anything um, below 0 0.5, uh, minus 0 0.5 is already very bad. Anything over 0 0.5 is great. So if we click apply, we'll get a chart like that. And yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. That's what we wanted from our map. And now if we uh, scroll around, we can see how um, the profit margins and the sales changed over the years. And once again, if you put your mouse over any specific region or any specific state, it will tell you the country, the state, the sales, and the profit margin for that uh, specific period of time that you're looking at. So let's go up here because we can zoom out a bit because we've got um, Sweden here, Stockholm, uh, which Finland, and so on. So we can see how they're changing as well. What else you can do is you can uh, highlight highlight things here. So let's say you can do a square highlighting like that if you like. Um, but we'll talk more about this a bit in a bit when we're uh, working with our first 
dashboard. So that's just the different types of highlighting you have in Tableau. So have a play around with that. See what else you can do. Maybe you want to uh, not look at profit margin, but um, some other parameter or some other metric of how the regions or um, how the states are performing. Uh, maybe you want to drill down to city level. So here right away, you can see we have many, many more uh, circles and they're still showing the same thing. So basically the profit margin for every city, uh, maybe you don't want to see that. Maybe you can go back to country and look at individual countries rather than states. So lots of things you can do with this map here. And so I'll leave it at that for now. In the next tutorial, we will create a scatter plot. And then in the tutorial after that, we will finally create our first dashboard where we will start combining worksheets. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you next time. And until then, happy analyzing.